In this video, I'll show you how to create beautiful presentations, templates or themes in Google Slides for your work or clients in just 10 minutes. In fact, I've used the same technique to create more than 1000 of stunning Google Slides designs and themes. So let's get started. Suppose you have a customer requirement that you have to create a Google Slide on German Seifers and they have given you the details that you have to include facts about German Seifer. So these are the facts which they have given. You have to use the title font as Lobster and they have asked you to use subtitle font as either Oswald or Indiflar and you can use the paragraph font as either Indiflar or Oswald. Right? So with this information, let's come to our Google slide main page and click on this plus button to create a blank presentation. You have to come to this untitled presentation. Let me just give something like this, that is dogs. You can give any meaningful name or I can just give here facts about dogs, right? Now, first what you have to do is, you have to go to view and then you have to go to master and under here, first you have to set your title fonts and then subtitle fonts and your paragraph font. So let's say if I just come to master here, I'll just select my title font and here I'll just choose lobster and for my subtitle font, I'll just come here and I'll just select Oswald and for remaining other levels, for all the remaining levels, because normally from here to here, you have to select it properly and just go to this particular font section and select Indiflar. All right, now just close this theme and you can also close this master layout, right? Now you have prepared your title fonts. I mean, you have adjusted your title fonts as per the requirement of your projects or customers. Now what you have to do is you have to insert an image because images are best for presentation. Now I'll not come here and insert an image. Instead of this, what I'll do is I'll just come to this tools under this I have an option of explore and here just search for an image and I'll just say dogs I think by mistake it opened so let me just come here and I'll just click on dogs and let me just give enter and first let me just close this okay and let's come to images and I'll just search for this particular dog okay because I really like this particular dog and I'll just click on this insert button so that this particular dog is inserted. Now what you have to do is you have to make sure that this particular dog is at your background and it covers entirely your background. Now let's come down. Let me just select it and I think it has covered the background right and let me just come down if I can select any other dog. Now I think this dog looks perfect. All right, and I can just remove this link. So click on this and now this is your home page. Now what you have to do is beside this, you have an arrow to go back. Go back again, click on this arrow to go back. And here you have lot of option to change the layout for your image. So let's say if I select this particular layout, now you see here, it automatically gives me the option to change here. So I'll just say here, for example, I can just change here facts about German ciphers and I'll just give the name of the company. For example, I'll just say here by tutorial brain and if you want, you can increase the font size. So I can increase the font size and here also I can increase the font size. Okay. So let me just change it to let's say 46. Okay, and let me just bring to this side so that it looks perfect. Yeah, this looks good. Now, I'll create next slide and here I'll just give new slide. For this, I'll search for the same dog here or what you can do is, let's delete this. Okay, so you can directly duplicate this. So I'll just give control D in my keyboard for Windows and in case of Mac, you can give command D. So if I just give control D, you see here that this particular slide is duplicated. Now from here, I can change 
the layout. So I can select this particular layout for my second slide. And here I need to change as per the requirement. So I can see here that German Shepherd will explore everything with their noses. So I can just write here, German Shepherd will explore everything with their noses. And let me remove this particular bullet. And I can remove this, this is not required. So just press delete in your keyboard, right? And now if you want, you can increase the font. So let me just select it and increase the font size as well. So I can just give here something like, let's say 40. And I think 40 is too much. Let me just make it to 25. And I'll just expand this a bit. Yes, this looks good. Now, with this, again, you come back to this particular slide, select it in the navigation pane and click Ctrl D to duplicate this. And now again, in the explore option, you see here, you have list of options. You can select this particular layout or whatever layout you want. So let's say if I want to select this layout, I can just choose this layout. And here I can just say that GSDs are incredibly smart. So I can just say like, or I can just type it here. So I can just say like GSDs are incredibly. And again, you duplicate this, right? So just give control D. And now again, under the explore, you will be able to see lot of options. So this time I'll select this and I can just go here and I'll just copy it from here. So it says German Safer dogs are protective of their loved ones. I'll just copy it and let me just come here and paste it. Now, what you have to do is, you have to just change the layout, just change the font, okay? And if you want, you can change the color. Initially, it was white, so I'll just change it to white. And again, if you want, you can change this orientation or you can shift the text boxes as per your requirement. So I'll just shift it like this, okay? And now you see this particular slide is also ready. Now again, I'll come here and I'll just give control D to duplicate it. And now you see here again, it gives me a lot of option. This time I'll select this and I'll come here. It says German Shepherds are known as a mouthy breed. So I'll just come here and I'll just say German Shepherds are known as a mouthy breeds, right? This slide is also ready. Again, what I'll do is I'll just come here, press Ctrl D and now in the Explorer option, you see I have a lot of options. Again, I'll select this and this time I'll just say German Shepherd Sheds. So I'll just say German Shepherd Sheds and I'll come here and let me just duplicate this. So this time I'll just come this side and let me just select this particular layout. And this says that German Shepherd's dogs are known for their versatility. So I'll just say German Shepherd dogs are known for their versatility. And again, you see here, last one it says is that GSDs are super active. So again, I'll just duplicate it. And I'll just come here and let me just select a particular layout. This time, let me select this. So I can just say here that GSDs are super active. So I can just say here, GSDs are super active. And here you see that now I can close my explore button and now my design is ready. So you see here, you have this template ready and you can just go to slide and if you want, you can change the existing slide layout you see here this is the particular template which you have created all right just close this and if you want you can include or you can import this template to your new presentation as well now in this case you see here we have only added the headings but they have mentioned that you can also include subtitle or paragraph also so here let's say if i just select a particular slide and press ctrl d and I'll just go to my tools and go to explore options. And here you see it is giving me so many options. And let's see if it gives me an option where subtitle is there. So I can see that there are no subtitles. So let me just delete it. 
and what I can do is I can add subtitles separately as well. So for that, just click on this text box and you can add a subtitle. So for that, I'll just add a text box here and I can add something. Let's say, welcome to tutorial brain facts. Okay. And I'll just select this and maybe I can just change it to IndieFlower or Oswald is also fine. In this case, let me just change it to IndieFlower and I'll just change the color to white and also I'll just change the font to let's say 24 right and I think this looks perfect yeah now you see here how beautifully you have created this entire template or theme so this is a beautiful presentation and within 10 minutes you will be able to give this presentation to your customers provided your requirements are clear at the start so that's it if you like the video please click on the like button subscribe to our channel and we have a complete tutorial series on Google Slides. So you can go to the playlist section of our channel and you can have a look at the complete tutorial about Google Slides. Additionally, you can go to our website tutorialbrain.com where I'll be uploading the content of the entire Google Slides. So in case you don't want to make notes, you can just go to our website and you can understand and learn from there. So that's it in this video. Take care. Hold Bye. Me close till I get up. Time is barely on our side. I don't wanna waste what's left.